right? So today's word, because last time we did believe. Okay, that's fine. It did run. Today's word is safe. That's today's word, safe. It's insanely fuzzy. You do not fold the paper for this. Is that better? I don't know. Is that better? I don't know. I hope it's better now. So the word is safe. And I want for you to do, um, at write down everything that comes to your mind with that word, safe. Are y'all ready? Let me get my timer up. It was up, it closed down. So for two minutes, safe. First thing that comes to your mind, it doesn't even matter if it's the word bat. Whatever it is, just write it down. It's not gonna be wrong. Two minutes, begin. Um, sweetie, we can hear you. Yeah, it's coming through there. Use a cord. Okay, so stop with your um, brain dump that you've done under the word safe. And I am finishing the thought that I had because I had a little interruption and I didn't get to get started. Take a moment, like a few seconds, to go through and find um, the... <laughs> And, and try to find any themes. So a bug falling from the ceiling doesn't make you feel very safe. So you could have written, a bug just fell from the ceiling, I don't feel very safe. And that would have been completely fine. So it is all right if you didn't start on time. Um, so what I want for you to do is go through and find those themes, those words or a common um, sentence or something that stands out. Now all I can think of is bugs. Bugs, not safe. Ew. Right? Okay. And I'm going to go through, and I'm going to use a different color marker to do that, just so that it will um, stand out to me. Anything that kind of... Um, have a theme. Well, let's see together. Anything that stands out that's the same. So, for example, 
um, I'll show you mine, okay? So here's mine. I did the word safe, and the very first thing that I wrote down was bat because I said it. Um, but bat to me isn't anything to be about safe, but I don't stop myself. I go through and say everything that just comes to mind. So I wrote bat because I said it. Then that took me to butterfly, flight, wings, which took me to feathers. And if you've looked at the um, Nearpod that we have this week for our Vantas, mine is about flight and freedom and the roles that I have in my life and my family. And while that seems like things that don't really connect, they do all come together. I know, that's why I said it. I said it just for you. They do all come together because when I think of safety and freedom and kind of letting go I do always think of flying and feathers um and being with my family and that's might not make a connection with you but when I was going through and doing this and I created my art with it it um it does come all together so a ladybug lily is um that's good luck. They say the superstition is for every spot that's on the ladybug is um, a year of good luck. So maybe that's the kind of luck we get. So the words that I found that really stood out for me were wings, fathers, flight, family, together. Like those were the words that for me with it went for safe. Those were the words that stood out. Does anybody else have a um, theme like that? Or did they discover a theme that was surprising for them when um, they did this? Something they would like to share? Okay. Anybody? You can type in some themes. I know that when we did this last time, there were some great themes that came through. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, Family, um, I saw someone says someone said something about the bugs and the ladybugs, and then someone said something about um, fungus. A safe box, yeah, that would make sense. Home, um, so for a lot of people, shelter. For a lot of people, home is their safe space. But then for a lot of other people, um, maybe the school is their safe place. Or someone said hideout, so maybe they have a special place that they go to that is that safe space for them. Um, I know in my house, um, Sanctuary Islands, yes, in my house for us, it's our dining room table, a rescue dog. So I did write about how my pets were rescues and how we keep them safe and they keep us safe. So that's, that's a really good one too. Secret, mm -hmm. something like a secret is something that you need to keep safe, um, and keep to yourself. Lockbox. These are great. Bat. <laughs> yeah, so we're all going to think bats now. Every time we hear the, the word um, safe, we're going to think bat. So weapon for safety. So someone has said that. And for some people, a weapon might make them feel more safe. But for other people, that is going to be the opposite. Just like you have your own place that you consider safe. Some of you, that might be your bedroom. Some people, a home. Some people, you know, a tree house or a shelter or something outside. So it's, it's all on your... Um, not for me. Yeah, not, not for me either. But I am big on safety. So um, make sure that if you have those things that you are being safe and following the law. Now, with our safe thing, now that we have this word, we are going to start our last automatic drawing.